Hi, my name is Anna and I'll be presenting my library, mostly in Easton Press and Folio Society editions. My editions include both limited and regular editions um, from both these publishers. So um, sorry if I butcher any names from the onset, but we'll be starting with Ovid's Metamorphosis, which is a Folio Society um, limited edition. And uh, it has beautiful illustrations and paintings by Titian. Um, the best uh, museums in the world have these paintings. Most recently, I saw some in the Metropolitan Museum in New York. Then moving on to The Call of Tolhu um, and Other Weird Stories by H.P. Lovecraft. When you take it out of the screen casing, it's actually a beautiful black book that actually feels almost like scales on a fish. Also, Folio Society Limited Edition. Then we have Apelius, the Golden Ass, another Folio Society um, limited edition, and Virgil's Iron Bed. And then this is the Dead Sea Scrolls, which is actually an Easton Press book. And then we have the King James Bible, Genesis to Solomon, and Isaiah to Revelations. And this is another Folio Society limited edition. Moving on to the next shelf, which are all regular editions of Easton Press, starting with the sayings of Epictetus and wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, a um, emperor of Rome. And then we have Edgar Allan Poe's Tales of Mystery and Imagination. We have the Tales of Guy Mespont. And then we have Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, which we all know. We have Kovadis by Henrik Sienkiewski. And then we have Lysistrata, um, a beautiful, beautiful edition actually illustrated by Picasso himself. We have The Red and the Black by Stendhal. The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle. And then an illustrated version of the book of Genesis. We have the work of Ravelis, illustrated by Gustav Dorr. And then the complete collection of fiction by L. Henry, Le Mort de Arthur um, by Sir Thomas Mallory, Voltaire's Candide, um, The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells, which will see another um, edition later. We have Dune by Frank Herbert, which I'm actually reading right now in anticipation of the movie that's coming out soon. And then Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert, beautiful love story. And then The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. And lastly on this shelf, we have Faust. Moving on to another shelf where we have mostly um, books, well, Eastern Press books, regular editions, but this is an uh, antique collection of Dumas's works, Le Dame de Montserrat. And then The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Other Stories by Washington Irving, King Kong, by Wallace Cooper Lovelace, 1984 by George Orwell, 12 Years of Slave by Solomon Northrop, Bo Jest by P.C. Wren, Beyond Good and Evil, Nietzsche. Um, this is a very interesting book, In Search of the Castaways. It's Jules Verne, and this is actually a first edition, um, American edition of this book. And then moving on to the Shakespeare collection, where we have Macbeth, Hamlet, Othello, Julius Caesar, Henry V, the um, Titus Adronicus, and the Taming of the Shrew. Then we have, um, this is actually neither Eastern Press nor Folio Society, it's the only book I have from the Franklin Library. We have the Odyssey, and then J.R.R. Tolkien's um, translation of Beowulf. The 900 Days by Salisbury, Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams and Spartacus by Howard Fast. Then the next shelf starts with Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, uh, The Stranger by Albert Camus, Dr. Zhivago by Pasternak. We have The Three Musketeers by Dumas, and then a very, very beautiful version of Mark Twain's Tom Sawyer, actually illustrated by Norman Rockwell. We have uh, three books by Sabatini, and then um, a collection all illustrated by N.C. Wyatt, Robinson Crusoe, The Last of the Mohicans, Kidnapped, Treasure Island, The Black Arrow, and then Thomas Jefferson and the Tripoli Pirates, 
And then we have a very, very beautiful Sophie's Choice, which is actually a signed edition, signed by the author, William Styron. And then Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, The Plague by uh, Albert Camus, which is true to the times right now. We have Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment, The Razor's Edge, and then we have Tao Teaching The Art of Harmony, and uh, a very beautiful volume of Tolstoy's War and Peace. The next shelf is regular editions of Folio Society, starting with Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, Another <laughs> Dune, um, Nicholas and Alexandra by Robert K. Macy. We have Napoleon and Wellington by Andrew Roberts. We have The Campaigns of Alexander. And then we have um, George R.R. George R. R. Martin's A Game of Thrones. And actually The Clash of Kings will be coming out. They just came out with it as well. Um, this is actually not a Folio Society book. This is by Limited Collections, um, Margaret DeVello by Alexander Dumas. Um, back to Folio Society, we have Alexander Pushkin's Eugene Onegin. Um, we have Neil Gaiman's American Gods, also Folio Society, and also a um, show is out about that. And then one of my favorite books, uh, Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. And then these two books, um, Big Chief Elizabeth and The War of the End of the World um, were given as a gift from Folio Society. And then we have these beautiful um, antique books, not from these publishers, but beautiful nonetheless. Um, moving on, we have the Bible illustrated by Gustav Dorr full of beautiful illustrations. They're very heavy. You actually need a stand to read them. This one is from Genesis to Lamentations, and this one is Ezekiel to Revelations. And this is a beautiful book of paintings in the Louvre. This, is, this shelf is a book of limited editions from Easton Press, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Sorry. These are um, regular editions. These are The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. We have The Five Books of Moses. We have Camille um, by Alexander Namasa's son. We have three volumes of The Book of a Thousand Nights um, and a Night, which is translated by uh, Richard F. Burton. Pinocchio, The Story of a Puppet. Dostoevsky's Notes from Underground, She by Haggard, um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, um, beautifully illustrated by Arthur Rackham. We have Russian Folk Tales, Oscar Wilde's The uh, Picture of Dorian Gray, one of his best works in my opinion. We have The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway, The Eagle Has Landed by Jack Higgins, a high school favorite, the Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, um, Dracula, Bram Stoker, Washington's Crossing, David Fisher, The Black Swan, Raphael Sabatini, um, A Beautiful Book of Psalms, A History of Early Rome by Levy, another um, edition of The Great Gatsby, and All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Murray of Remark, um, who's one of my favorite authors, and there's a beautiful tale, a heartbreaking of uh, World War I, actually taken from the German's perspective. Then moving on to this shelf, which has the Easton Press um, limited editions. So starting with Grimm's Fairy Tales, you can see it's beautiful in white, and we're all familiar with these stories, but hopefully they're less violent and gory when they were told to you than they are actually written in the original. Then moving on to Mark Twain's Roughing It, a beautiful illustrated book, um, very funny of his uh, tales, well, true story of going west with his brother. Um, here we have another edition of The Three Musketeers, Dumas. We have Frassant's Chronicles, of the Hundred Years' War between Britain and France. 
um, a very uh, special book, signed edition, Night by Ellie Wiesel, Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne, Hector Cervatic, another um, Jules Verne, and Lives of 12 Caesars, which is just uh, a lot of gossip about the 12 Caesars and Roman times. And then The Hound of the Baskervilles by Arthur Con or Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and two volumes of A Tale of Two Cities um, by Charles Dickens. Um, another Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain, and Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. Um, the next we have is a uh, Hamlet, and this is a letterpress Shakespeare um, book, and uh, these are in French, um, a collection of Dumas's Le Dain de Montsoreau. And these are two beautiful coffee table books that I have, along with a souvenir from Rome, set besides my gladiator book. Um, here we have um, a collection of Dumas books here and uh, full works. Um, and here we have limited editions, starting with Milton's Paradise Lost, five volumes of Alexander Dumas's The, Mount, the Count of Monte Cristo. We have Treasure Island. Um, by Stevenson. Um, this is neither Easton Press nor Floorless Society, but it's a beautiful, but it's a beautiful uh, Haggadah by um, for for the Jewish Passover. And then we have the Odyssey of Homer and Michael Strogoff, um, another Jerns, Jules Verne book. Moving on is Sitting Bull and the Indian War, and this is the newest um, addition to my collection is War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. And this is limited edition. The, these are regular editions by the Decameron. Then we have Jason and the Golden Fleece. We have The Sea Wolf by Jack London, Prisoner of Zenda, Anthony Hope. The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. We have Treasure Island by Robert Louis uh, Stevenson, again. Um, then full collection of The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, which actually um, was given by Easton Press to his daughter. Um, we have Ivanhoe by Walter Scott, William Tell by Schiller. We have um, Herbin Melville's Moby Dick. Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith, Schindler's List, Thomas Kennelly, and then um, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Hyde, Robert Louis Stevenson. And actually The Schindler's List is a signed edition. And then one of my favorite um, sci-fi books, uh, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, Ship of the Line by C.S. Forrester, and The Iliad. Um, Homer. And then we have a beautiful coffee table book with prehistoric life, which has many beautiful illustrations in it. And um, another book by Easton Press, Omar Cahan by Fitzgerald. Um, and this concludes my collection as it is right now. If you'd like to see any of the books um, specifically, the inside of them, I'd be happy to do it upon request.